Six Copilot for Microsoft 365 was released in November 2023. Its development has been at a lightning pace. It can be hard to keep track with how the product is changing and particularly what features should be available to you versus those that have just been announced but will be coming in the future. In this video, I'm going to consider what your strategy should be to keep yourself or those using Copilot in your organization aware of and excited about its evolving feature set and how this is absolutely vital to your effective adoption of this amazing but quickly changing product. But before we dive in, a quick introduction. My name is Nick DeCorsi. I'm the owner of Bright Ideas Agency, a digital transformation consulting company focused on the needs of smaller businesses. I'm also the author of Who's in the Copilot Seat, a guidebook for small and medium-sized business leaders on how to adopt AI technology. Check out the links below if you're interested in learning more. One of the biggest critiques I had of Copilot for Microsoft 365 when it got released last year was it was pretty hard to really get information that kept you up to date on what was changing. But since then, I think Microsoft has heard this feedback and is doing a much better job of signposting changes, both for those managing rollouts and for end users. As an end user, one of the most important places to get information is actually a monthly email that Microsoft has started sending by default to Copilot licensed users that flags up the important changes they have been seeing or will be seeing over the coming month. However, while some end users will definitely read these emails or associated blog posts, if you're an end user and you're watching this, you're probably in the group who will. It's more likely that if you're watching this, you have some responsibility for your Copilot adoption program, and you probably know the default for many users is to simply not read information like that or absorb it into working practices. We'll come back to this issue before we finish. For those with those adoption responsibilities, there are three, well, maybe four, other places you should be getting information. First, let's take a look at the Microsoft 365 roadmap. Here, you can get an overview of the status of all roadmap items for Microsoft 365, but you could filter based on the product and you can select Copilot. You get a brief overview of the item, the status and timelines, so you can get an idea of what's upcoming or what should already be seeing in your environment. The link to this page and others I feature in this video will be down in the description. Next, let's take a look at the Message Center. This feature inside the Microsoft 365 Admin Portal offers you access to all the information relevant to the status of Microsoft 365 for your tenant. Again, you can filter what you're looking for, but here you get more actionable information, looking primarily at the impact changes may have on your environment or your users. Last is the Copilot for Microsoft 365 adoption website. This is a fantastic resource, whatever your role in your Copilot for Microsoft 365 adoption, and includes a lot of materials, including links to Microsoft Learn articles related to the technology. If you have responsibility for Copilot for Microsoft 365 in your organization, then this really is a must-have set of resources. Now, I did promise four, so as a bonus, I'm going to throw in what you're doing right now. Microsoft has great materials, but sometimes for more focused explanations, examples, or linking features to the type of use that's relevant to you, looking at videos like this is the answer. And obviously, you're here and you know that, and hopefully now you've got this far in the video, you're finding it useful. So could I ask you to hit that like button to help me get in front of a bigger audience? And if you're not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button too. Thanks. In my view though, just getting information isn't the biggest challenge. It's getting that information to the right people. In an ideal world, every information worker would be a self-starter in making themselves more productive with technology. But the reality is that most people aren't all that excited about technology, and due to a lack of understanding or trepidation or just feeling too busy, spend far less time trying things out or developing new skills than might be optimal. Getting the best from Copilot for Microsoft 365 requires an ongoing adoption plan that supports users to get the relevant information, embrace opportunities to try new things out, and promotes Copilot use as part of the ongoing dialogue of your organization. Just pointing people to information is valuable, but it just isn't enough. 
you might want to think about formalising the opportunity to communicate about Copilot. Think about establishing a forum in Teams where your users can share their questions and best practices. Ensure you have leaders, adoption managers and technical specialists on hand to support this effort. Consider how you share those best practices. Tools like the fantastic Prompt Buddy, which is a Dataverse for Teams application that allows users to share and upvote their prompts, can be a great way to promote collaboration about how to use Copilot day to day. And just giving people information is not the same as giving them time and space to try out what that information is telling them. If adopting Copilot is just another thing on a never-ending to-do list that stretches your team members to 110% of capacity, then you're not going to get good engagement. Practice and the space to try things that might not work are both extremely important. Getting the right pieces in place for your Copilot for Microsoft 365 adoption can be a big challenge, but I can help you with this. Whether you're looking for end-to-end -end support for your adoption project or more targeted strategic advice, there are links below to find out more about how I can help you succeed and to set up a free initial consultation. On my website, you'll also find a bunch of valuable resources, including access to my currently free AI Adoption Overview course for business leaders. It's important to remember that gathering information about features or capabilities is just one part of the puzzle. Dissemination of that information and then turning it into action that creates business value is the far more complex piece. And while it can feel appealing to keep on top of every product change and new feature, often just focusing on getting a small subset of the most useful capabilities into everyone's hands as part of their daily habit of their work can lead to far more compelling and effective change. What is your routine for keeping on top of rapidly changing products? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching through to the end. Until the next video, bye bye.